वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फिफ्टी सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ शेयर फोर्स ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द बॉक्स कर्डर डिटरमाइन द शेयर फ्लो एट पॉइंट ए एन बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बॉक्स गर्डर हैविंग टोटल लेंथ इज फोर हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड टोटल वेट इज टू हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर दैट इज एम टी इन साइट दिस पोर्शन इज एम टी एंड शेयर फोर्स ऑफ टू थ्री हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द शेयर फ्लो एट पॉइंट ए एंड एट पॉइंट बी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो वी नो दैट शेयर फ्लो क्यू इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू क्यू डिवाइड बाई आई सो वी विल फाइंड आई विच इज द सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टी सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टी आई आई and that can be found if you check the beam uh, girder beam and if you take the half of this so about this axis the beam is symmetrical so this is its neutral axis clear so we will find the i for this so how we will find we will find the moment of inertia of this whole portion taken as solid and then we will subtract this empty portion from the whole so you will get i so 1 over 12 1 over 12 its total breadth is 200 mm so 200 mm in meter is 0.2 and its height which is 200 plus 200 400 mm and 400 mm is 0.4 meter so 1 over 12 bh cube minus 1 over 12 this empty portion this empty portion the moment of inertia of this empty portion so its uh, breadth is 180 mm and height is 190 plus 190 is 380 so i will write breadth is 180 which is 0.18 and height is 380 and that is 0.38 whole cube so when you calculate it you will get moment of inertia of this box girder will be equal to 0.24359 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 4 so this is the moment of inertia of this box since we are given to find out uh, the shear flow at point a and b so for point a for point a shear flow q uh, sorry shear flow will be equal to q a which is equal to v into q a divided by i so we will first find this q a q a is the first moment of inertia of this portion from this till point a till this this is the shaded area clear so q dash will be equal to y1 dash bar into a1 what is a1 so a1 is this area from the mid of this section till the mid of this section this area this total width is 180 plus 10 because half of 10 is 5 plus 5 so from this portion till this portion this total area is 190 uh, 180 plus 5 185 195 clear and is its thickness is 10 mm because this is 190 and this is 200 so thickness is 10 mm so i will write area a1 is 10 mm which is 0.01 into thick width is 0.1919 sorry 19 because this is 180 plus 5 and 5 this is 190 this total distance is 190 and what about y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section clear so this is y1 dash y1 dash bar and that is equal to 195 mm because a half of 10 is 5 plus this this is 5 this portion is 5 
this is 90 plus 100 195 and in meter it is 0 0.195 so when you calculate it QA will be equal to 0 0.3705 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter and that was for point A now for point B for point point B we will have QB and QB will be equal to this is the point B so for QB we will take these areas so this consists of first this area plus two times this area so I will write let this is one and this is two so I will write uh, for one is uh, the above area which is 0 0.018 into 0 0.18 0 not 0. Point, into 0 0.01 I will show you this area this area this width is 180 and thickness is 10 clear so this is the area and y1 dash is the same 195 so it will be 0 0.195 clear plus two times now the turn of this portion this portion and this portion are same so we will calculate the the q for this portion and we multiply by two so two times the area is 200 which is 0 0.2 multiply by thickness is 0 0.01 meter and what is y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of second section which is equal to 200 divided by 2 and that is 100 millimeter and 100 millimeter is 0 0.1 multiply by 0 0.1 okay so when you calculate it you will get QB will be equal to 0 0.751 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter Now you can see that this is point A and the similar point here is represented let this is A dash. This is your point B that is mentioned over here. So this is your point B dash. So I will write due to due to symmetry the shear flow the shear flow at point A and A dash and point B and B dash are same that is it will be divided by 2 so shear flow at point A will be divided by will be divided by 2 which is equal to V into Q A divided by I and we will divide it by 2 because it will be at half of portion will be there and half of the portion will be at a dash so you can just put the value 1 over 2 v is given as 300 kilo newton so 300 multiplied by q a is 0 0.3705 into 10 to the power minus 3 300 kilo newton so 300 into 10 to the power 3 is also available there in 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 newton okay divide by i and i is this one 0 0.24359 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it you will get shear flow at point a comes out to be 228 228.15 into 10 to the power 3 newton per meter or you can say qa is 228.15 kilo newton per meter so this is shear flow at point a 
for point B Q B Q B will be Q B will be equal to one over two V into Q B divided by I. So one over two V is three hundred kilo so three hundred into ten to the power three Q B zero point seven five one into ten to the power minus three divided by I. And I is 0 0.24359 into 10 to the power minus 3. Again, when you calculate it, it will be 462.46 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. Or you can say QB shear flow at B is equal to 462.46 kilo Newton per meter and these are the answer of our this question which is 7-50 and that was all about our problem 7-50 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching